In this video I will tell shortly about character arrays in MATLAB or you could think of them as textual variables and about the display or this function in MATLAB as well. So, the text strings can be uh, created in MATLAB and you can operate on them. And actually in newer MATLAB versions uh, there is like the two, there is a distinction between like character array and character string. So here I'll be actually talking about character arrays. So we create them by uh, assigning value to a variable, which is uh, enclosed in these single quote marks. And it can be either one character or many of them, but as long as it's in the quotes, it is actually treated as a text, even, for instance, if it was a number. So, let's have a look in here. I will open your script. And I will create my variables. So, for instance, x and y. Uh, are now text variables. Uh, when I run this, I have to save my file first. Okay, when I run, I can now see in my workspace that I do have X and Y, and now they have a bit different mark if you, if you remember when it's a numeric, uh, numerical variable uh, then it's this kind of table like or matrix like looking and now as a character they have this ch for a character and they are so called arrays so actually you can access those individual characters especially now y has two uh, two characters so i can actually access for instance, if I say Y1, I'm pointing that I want to pick the first letter from this array, and in the same way, the second one, I can pick it. And we use it, uh, we do it using round parentheses. Uh, strings can also be concatenated, so that means that uh, we can connect the values and there are there is two ways to do it at least uh, one relatively simple is uh, using function str cut so it's exactly for string concatenation and here you can put multiple strings uh, separated by commas which you want to be grouped together so if I just put x and y here uh, that will work because X and Y are both uh, character arrays, so they will just be connected. Let's see. So now Z is yes. Uh, it wouldn't work if you, for instance, add something. If I try to add A in there, uh, oh well, it didn't crash, but actually. MATLAB left. I was actually expecting an error, so maybe something has changed. Uh, probably uh, might be just leaving an empty place for that number. Uh, but if you would like that 5 to appear here, so remember 5 is a numeric value, but we can actually turn it into a string. So you can use function uh, num to string and give it an argument, which is our A variable. So I will call it uh, maybe B. Uh, so now, when I run this one, you can see B is 5 in the quotes. So now it means that it's actually treated as, as a character, uh, not, and not a number. So once it is turned like this, uh, it can be placed in that string we had. So let me... Uh, well, I put it directly here like this. So instead of A, I will put it here, num to string A. So this whole thing becomes my 
my next piece of string. So now it says yes, five. And of course, any any variable of that kind can then also have uh, its elements accessed. So for instance, z here had now four elements, so I can see that fourth one uh, that is five, the, the fourth character. All right. So uh, why do we need text? For instance, we uh, when you have your results in command window for, for some calculations, you would like maybe some additional text explanation to it that is displayed in the command window so that it's easier for you to follow uh, the content. So that's where we can use function disk uh, and we just give it the text that we want to see. So for instance, in here I can say this z uh, or it, it is uh, so in here so in here I can put this and for instance these are my results and the text is there and then so that text can be combined also with the possible uh, I had my, for instance, numerical A uh, converted to a text already, which is B. Uh, okay, yes, so uh, this works. I, I made a mistake, too many input arguments. This needs just one argument, so it's one string uh, or one character array to be displayed. Now I gave it two arguments because I get I gave one text and then I gave gave it another text. But I what I want to give here is one bigger piece of text. So I need to concatenate those two. So that's where I should have used the string cut function. So now inside my disk there is this other function which first connects my words and that uh, numerical result converted to a character and then we display it. So now we shouldn't have an error. And there it is. Uh, these are my results. Five. And another way to connect strings uh, is just by combining arrays using square brackets. So this would be become maybe more natural uh, when in the second week we go into numerical arrays as well but the idea is that for instance if you want to combine strings in a row so that kind of glue them together in one row uh, you can uh, you can put square brackets and then one by one either separated by spaces or by commas you just put those pieces you want to combine so I'll put my x string my y string and why not my b string so in this way uh, my str should become es5 and that's that's how it works <laughs>